It's a most respectable firm. And I'm sure he would never be guilty of so untradesmanlike an act. Good day, sir. Good day. I believe you are a sorcerer. Yes, sir. We oh. practice necromancy in all its branches. We have a choice assortment of wishing caps, divining rods, amulets, charms, and counter charms. We can cast you a nativity at a low figure, and we have a horoscope at three and six that we can guarantee. Our abduer chests, each containing a patent hag who comes out and prophesies disasters with the spring complete, are strongly recommended. Our Aladdin lamps are very chaste, and our prophetic tablets, foretelling everything from a change of ministry down to a rise in Turkish stock, are much inquired for. Our penny curse, one of the cheapest things in the trade, is considered infallible. We have some very superior blessings, too, but they're very little asked for. We've only sold one since Christmas to a gentleman who bought it to send to his mother-in-law, but it turned out that he was afflicted in the head, and it's been returned on our hands. But our sale of penny curses, especially on Saturday nights, is tremendous. We can't turn them out fast enough. <laughs> My name is John Wellington Wells. I'm a dealer in magic and spares. In blessings and curses and ever fit curses in prophecies, which is the nails. If you want a proud photo to make tracks, if you'd melt or a chunk in wax, you've got to look in on the resident gin number 70 Simmery Axe. We've a first rate assortment of magic, and for raising a posthumous shade, with effects that are comic or tragic, there's no cheaper house in the terrain. The feelings that we've gone to deserve it, and for knowledge, if anyone learns, we're keeping a very small profit, a profit who brings us unbounded returns, for he can Prophesy with the wink of his eye, peep with security into fraternity. Sub up your history, clear up our mystery. Humor, proclivity, for the nativity, for the nativity. He has answers oracular, bulky, spectacular, terrible, tragical, mere, so magical, facts, astronomical, solemn, or comical. And if you want it, he makes a reduction on taking a quantity. Oh, 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 if anyone anything lacks, he'll find it already in stacks. If he'll only look in on the resident gene number 70, Simmery acts. can raise you hosts of ghosts, and that without reflectors, and creepy things with wings, and gaunt and grisly spectres. He can fill you crowds of shrouds, and horrify you vastly. He can rack your brains with chains, and gibbering scream and ghastly. Then if you plan it, he changes organity with an vanity full of satanity, vexes humanity with an inanity fatal to vanity, driving the falls to the verge of insanity. Very totality, immortality, lectrobiology, mystical sanity, spirit philology, high class astrology, such as mythology is the type to require an apology. I'm a dealer in magic and spares, in blessings and curses and ever-filled purses and prophecies, which is a nails. And if anyone anything lacks, he'll find it already in stacks. If he'll only look in on the resident in number 70, Simmery Axe. <laughs> And pray, where is my mother, dear? 
I did not think it meet to see a dame of lengthy pedigree, a baronet and KCB, a doctor of divinity, and that respectable, you see, all fast asleep, a frescoli, and so I had them carried home and put to bed respectably, and put to bed respectably. I trust my conduct meet your approbation. Sir, so you act to it discrimination and showed more delicate appreciation than we expect in persons of your station. Yes, I showed more delicate appreciation than they expect in the persons of my station. <laughs> but soft they awaken one by one. The spell has worked, the deed is done. I would suggest that we retire while love the housemaid lights her kitchen fire. While love the housemaid lights her kitchen My spares and deals I can't undo. This is too bad of you, Chate of Lowest. What wrongs have they done you? And see another lovely lady comes. Alas, poor Sir And mine alone, the blame. On me, alas, and lack a day, I sigh for love, and well I may, for I am very old and gray. But stay. What is this fairy form I see before me? Oh, horrible, she's going to adore me. <laughs> this last catastrophe is overpowering. Why do you gaze at me with visage lowering? For pity's sake, recoil not thus from me. My lady, leave me, this can never be. Hate me, I drop my H's half through life. Love me, I drop them too. Hate me, I always eat peas with a knife. Love me, I eat like you. Hate me. Love me, 
I'll stick sunflowers in my hair. Hate me, let us sort your not. At what I'm going to say, be not enraged. I may not love you, for I am engaged. Engaged, engaged. Engaged. To Sweet and simple smile Who waits for me By the sounding sea On a soft Pacific isle A no maiden waits me there Rage, despair, the maiden has bright brown hair while mine is as white as snow. False man it will be your fault if I go to my family vault and bury my lifelong woe. Oh, agony, rage, despair, oh, where will this end? Oh, where I shall very much like to know. It will certainly be my fault if she goes to her family vault to bury her lifelong woe. False man it will be your fault if I go to my family vault. If she goes to her family vault. family vault. The vault. The family vault. The family vault, 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 yes, the family vault. What, Mr. Wells? What is to be done? I do not know. And yet. There is one means by which this spell may be removed. Oh. Name it! Oh, name it! Or you or I must yield up his life to our remains. I would rather it were you. I should have no hesitation in sacrificing my own life to spare yours, but we take stock next week, and it would not be fair on the cone. True. Well, I am ready. Oh. <laughs> no! It must not be. Oh, Mr. Wells, if he must die, let all may be restored to their own loves. Well, what is to become of me? I shall be left out in the cold without any love to be restored to. It's true. I did not think of that. My friends, I appeal to you, and I will leave the decision in your hands. For he or I must die. Oh, in matters not. 